Okay, so <laughs> this episode here is just pretty much going to be about what we all know what we're talking about at this point that's been going on for the past month or so, where it all started. It doesn't um, seem like it's been a month. Huh? It doesn't seem like it's been a month. More or less? Less. I feel like it may be two weeks because I feel like everything's just been consistent, you know? Oh, yeah. I feel you. Um, So, yeah, of course, what we're talking about is, uh, would you say it's the latest, greatest battle at the moment? I, I mean, I think in our time, yeah, like that we can remember. Yeah, that was a good back and forth, like, mm -hmm. you know, instant back and forth, like an actual virtual rap battle. Was it not like that back in the day from what you read? Mm, I'm thinking, yeah, because I can't remember back to when, like, Nas and Jay-Z had their beef. You know, it was in the same year. I, You know, honestly, I, I only heard Nas's, like, diss record to Jay-Z. Because I never knew that Jay-Z had a response to it. Oh, right. uh, I, I did it, like, growing up. I only heard that Nas had a diss record to Jay-Z. And if, I never got to really dig into, like, what the whole reason behind it was. Still to this day, <laughs> I don't know why. I just never did research again on it. Uh, but I recall that moment, like, when they were announcing it on the radio, you know. And that's the only side that I heard. Uh, but I did find out later, years later, on YouTube that jay-z had a record too and i heard his it was pretty decent and uh the person who actually produced it was an unknown kanye west so because he's that's where he started like oh that makes sense with uh rockefeller mm -hmm. so he was their one of their producers um ironically <laughs> because just like that you know here he comes trying to jump into the middle of the beef with his own version. <laughs> Kanye swears he's the main character. <laughs> yeah, for real. I feel like I feel like that's a thing when um because I know we we're talking about with him and Drake how they kind of fell out and stuff. Yeah. The other day. Um I feel like he takes things very like his ego is very like um easily bruised, I guess. So he just has to like be like Hey, 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 don't forget about me. Like, mm -hmm. you know, like, but at the, at this point, like, no one takes him serious because of it because they're just like, oh, it, he's on his antics again. And so he doesn't get, like, the reception that he wants from it, you know? Yeah. And, I mean, he, he did a nice remix to the beat, actually, like, to the Like That song. Uh, he did it very Kanye with the choir and so forth. Oh, uh, but yeah, <laughs> I just love how he inserted himself and did nothing really. Um, <laughs> no, one, no one talked about it for maybe when it happened. For real. <laughs> Kanye's up to his shit again. But yeah, so at, at, and then at this point, it just seemed like, you know, what I was finding now was, damn, okay, so why are there so many people all of a sudden going against Drake. Now, I knew why Kanye was because I knew, and it probably goes further back than this, but from what I remember was it stems from, like, around the time that Pusha T and Drake had their thing, right? Because Pusha T was working on, uh, was working with Drake, I mean with Drake, with Kanye for his album. And I guess, you know, I told you once that Drake and Kanye were supposed to like maybe do something together or how much before that with the with Pusha T was that? Oh, I don't know, but apparently Kanye was supposed to give him a beat and he trolled him on it and it was that song that scoopity poop that it was that song. So he apparently because Drake said it himself on some interview where he's like he was supposed to give me that beat and then the next day I hear it uploaded on YouTube and it's that. <laughs> uh so i guess that kind of was a way of kind of saying like yeah right psych you know? <laughs> uh and also because but i think it's been already uh debunked but 
supposedly around the Pusha T beef with Drake, uh, Kanye allegedly was the one who gave him the information about like Adonis and that whole plan to market him along with the Adidas uh, shoe plan that Drake was going to come out with. Uh, which which isn't wrong. It's still Kanye still told um, Pusha T, but I think where the oh where the misinformation or like how the story got twisted is, I guess Con- Kanye had said Drake told him, and so then like it was like, oh, see, so like you know he confided in me, but that wasn't what happened. It was forty um one of uh, I don't know if he's his producer or not, but it's I know for sure it's like someone on his team, like almost like his right hand man. Um, cause they ought to have one cause even Cole has his, which is Ibrahim. I think that's who it is. So, and then uh, Drake has 40. He was pillow talking with some chick and the chick went and like told anyways, came to, to Kanye's like, Oh, okay. You okay. Know, so like that. And that's probably why Pusha said that one line about OVO mm-hmm. just to kind of like insert it in there. Like. Yeah, that's that's where it came from. Mm-hmm. Just you so know. you know, <laughs> right, right. <laughs> like Saying without camp. saying it. Like, yeah, like your camp's the one that's been like you know. Yeah, exactly. And Which, Drake doesn't even know it. Right. Which I know he got defensive about it, but um, like Drake, because he was like sticking up for forty and stuff. But. Right, because he was all like, "What was he saying?" Oh, and why would you say something like that, right? Uh, but that's part of the reason, you know. But, uh, <laughs> sorry, yeah, they're just like, whatever, you know. I just think, uh, because I know we're starting off with Kanye and then coming back around, but we have to, like, this is all <laughs> this is like big right here because, like, there's layers to it, yeah. Um, uh, so there's that, and then, um, Jay Prince comes out and says that he's the one that stopped everything because Drake had something planned to come out that he felt was going to really take things further and be some serious stuff. Some, like, street stuff. Yeah. And I'm thinking, like, what? (laughs) Like, really, like, what? Unless you guys were protecting him from whatever he has going on. Is what it seems like now, this right. entire time, because of what's coming out. I I think for me, the where I might be getting, because wasn't he like part of some other group, Pusha T, wasn't he? Yeah, the Clips. Right. Oh, oh okay, so right. And then, like. Because weren't they kind of like Hood or something? I mean, that's what they portrayed, so like. Well, I think it's his brother or half-brother, uh-huh. the other member of the Clips. Uh-huh. He was on the Vlad interview talking about how they grew up Mm -hmm. and drake decided to poke fun at that by saying um because he in the interview with vlad was saying that they pretty much didn't really deal with it themselves but grew up around it so drake was trying to like poke at Pusha t about his street credit right okay right and again i think it like rubs people off rubs people the wrong way because okay but then it's like but who are you to say anything you know okay so the this is like gonna be a little different uh but why not because my whole like my and i don't like drake right but like everyone did the most to try to discredit drake's like you know take on it why these other rappers that have like these just personas get to get away with it you know, like when someone like fact checks the thing, like it, it's like, you know, from back in the day, it's like, oh, they were rapping about like stories that they that they like heard about, you know, because they didn't personally like compared to like how some of the rappers now that were the street dudes and now they're rapping. That's like different. So like I feel like maybe where he was coming from was like you guys do this all the time and like to discredit like me 
So like, why can't I do the same thing? You know. True, I guess, but because it's coming from him, you right. know, and like, who's him to say anything at all? Where I guess the way I interpret things of when people are calling him out, it's like because it's already known. Like, I didn't. Know. I thought they were hood dudes for real. That's why I said like, no, you know? no, 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 about Drake. Like that you don't. You don't even have to bother to question things. You kind of already figured him out. Oh, okay. So, by all means, who are you to say anything? Like, let that be amongst, right, like the other ones doing it, I guess. To where, I guess it comes off like Drake is trying so hard to prove himself about something. Oh, I can see that. That he can be hard, and therefore he's going to denounce other people trying to claim stuff. Right. You know? Um that's what i'm reading like that's how i'm kind of interpreting things right because again even myself like okay so what you know uh what do i do in that situation right like if i were in that place of business and industry you know what would i talk about what did what you know who would i know that was affiliated with others right like but I guess, again, because when it comes to him, it's just like, yo, why even bother? You're not even, like, part of the conversation, like, you know. Because he just kind of comes out with these disses, you know. So I think that's why it rubs people the wrong way. Like, hey, like, Drake, what are you doing? And what makes you so brave to do it? You know, is it because you feel untouchable that you could just do anything you want? Um and which is ironic because you'll see whether they're real or not, but you'll see like the gangster rappers uh, saying how they like him, though, because he doesn't pretend to be hard. You know, like I- I've heard uh, mm-hmm. or seen or come across interviews where they like, yeah, w- we like Drake because he doesn't pretend to be hard. And then that again doubles down on the hatred, you know, because it's like, what do you mean? Like, his, some of his songs, he comes out saying things like he's coming out hard. Like, and I guess that's why, like, you can look over and be like, okay, like, we don't need that Drake. Like, just do your, like, you know, best I ever had type of music. Like, <laughs> poor guy. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? God's plan, uh, one dance, right? Like, do what you do best. And stop trying to be hard, right? Like, I guess that's what really rubs people the wrong way. Like, what's up with you trying to, like, act all hood and and affiliate yourself just to get that cred, you know? Like, just to uh, get that back in from, like, the game, right? Because when he came out with that song 100 with the game, Mm -hmm. like, the fact that he was in Compton Mm -hmm. with all the bloods and you have the game in interviews being like, yeah, a little homie pulled up, you know, and whoever messes with Drake, mm-hmm. like, I got his back. So, of course, it's going to build him up. Mm-hmm. It's going to make him feel like, yeah, see, even the game out of all people has my back. So, don't be messing with me. You can't talk about me. What's up? You know, like. I think he just got tired of everybody clowning him and calling him, like, corny and stuff, you know. And I could see how, like, that can get, like, annoying. And only because like in the end these are don't forget these are his like co-workers right these are his colleagues right to be like hey y'all always like low-key picking on me right call me out on like yes okay like these things you guys might have like a point there right and on the fact that he's like canadian right <laughs> you know like they say canadians are like the nicest people right for him to be like but how come they these other people get like a pass when they're not also that way you know what i mean like and I think that's where he feels like he has to overcompensate and then do the, like, corny shit. Because at the end of the day, it always just comes off corny. No matter what he does, no matter how hard he tries to act, like, everybody's like, okay, well, it's, it's drag. Like, you know, like. Yeah, well, I guess that's the thing of it all is that when he does it, you can see it. You can see that it's like, okay, like, you don't have to do all that. Like, because you can see it, you know, like, uh, nobody, right? And then... He'll do things like cheer on a team, <laughs> and then when they lose, he choose he he's like now celebrating with the winning team, right? Like, you know, 
it's annoying you know it's just like when you amongst your own peers be like ah what the hell like nah hell not like stayed you know cheering with that team like now that they're the champions you want to put on that jersey and be like oh you know it was all about this all, all along right, right, right. and I, I think it's just that in general that they call him out on like it's just things like that that um annoys people you know because again no one really discredits his like ability to deliver songs that other people are making <laughs> that's just what it is and that too is like right no one can do it like the ghost writers are writing it for you you can take it and then deliver it how they need you to deliver it right. and the producers will will produce you like and I think that too is what people are noticing that that's what it is, you know? Because when you hear when he first came out, or even like, I guess, early stuff from mixtapes, you're like, oh, okay, you know, he's pretty decent, but you know him in that way. So then when it like changed over around, like, I feel like it was 2013 is where he really came out with like or 2011 somewhere around there with this whole different style like that it was just like hard and that's why people weren't taking it serious because they're like okay we we get when you come out with like marvin's room like when you just do the drake thing that that's what we know you for doing when you first came out so it's like when you switch up i, I guess i know maybe you wanted a rap too we just don't feel it when it's him and that's what we're able to distinguish, like, whether it's him or not. Right. And that's why it's been a while that people have always said, like, no, someone is ghostwriting for him. Mm -hmm. But whenever that didn't work or I guess, like, was exposed, no one really cared. Right. So now he's like, I feel like he's thinking, like, see, no, I can just continue doing this. It doesn't matter mm -hmm. at that point, like, and, and moving forward. And, yeah, that, that was a fact. So you add on that, also along with it, he's just feeling untouchable at this point. Like He's like, y'all can accuse me of whatever. It doesn't matter because I got this whole team behind me that uh, is helping me and is down for me and will do anything for me, you know, the moment I, like, snap my finger. Right. Um, and because of everything that's coming out, it, it all makes sense. I think that not only is it really about him it's like the fact that he's a whole package deal like he doesn't own anything like they own him and that's the irony that people are saying in the comments like um he doubled down on people being slaves and he himself is owned by the industry he doesn't own his likeness his publishing his di distribution he gets paid but that's the price that he has to pay, you know, or like. Well, yeah, it's one of those accept. 360 deals. That's right. Like Nikki and like Lil Wayne, all of those there, they were like with Young Money. That's what the deals that they signed were for. Yeah. And then um, I think we just saw it. I mean, Kendra just called it like since the future days, like that's where it all begun. Like, think about it. You just got to go back to his earlier stuff. And then how everything switched up, you know, and people just accepted it because I feel it was the producers, the writers, and the features that were making him. Right, but the funny thing is that they co-signed him, and they're the ones, like, because Metro was the one that started it all. And the fact that, like, him and Feature did this whole album, like we talked about it last time, they did this whole album, and then to diss him, right, got features on there and then ken kendrick's verse that was, was just supposed to like maybe not be that's what overtook and everyone kind of forgot about future and metro being the ones that like started it you know like it spiraled from there you know and you, but and then you have to ask yourself why because we still don't know why future why, and metro just turned on him quote well, unquote they i think they they say it in the songs but again because of all the momentum with kendrick because they were like analyzing like because it was because it was like 
on that one. It was like Future Metro and Kendrick on, on that one. And we got the verse about the fuck the big three, right? Then um, Drake talks about it at the concert. And then the other song drops with ASAP and The Weeknd. And they take shots at it. Because one of the, the, the other songs not too long ago... When Drake is coming at Kendrick, he also brings up Rick Ross. He brings up ASAP. He brings up, he brings them up back up on the song. Like when he's also taking shots at Kendrick. So like, I think from like the thing when we talked about with Kanye, which Kanye was the one that was kind of the one that messed that up there. But not only the corniness, but I think about how he moves in general has probably, um, they've gotten to the point where they feel like, they don't need Drake. It, what, what were we saying last time? We used to think that... Oh, the rappers needed Drake? To make the numbers, right? Right. When in reality, Drake needs them as the features in order for... Like, he needs their cosign in order to, like, ride Stay the relevant. new wave of, yeah. like, whatever the new sound is. Yeah. You know, he he's out scouting, trying to see who's going to be the, like, up and coming so he can, like you know sound bite because he did the thing with bad bunny like he was you know just like he's he liked to say like experimenting but we know it's like he likes to still flows you know like um and that too like yeah uh the fact that you know and everyone made fun of soldier boy for for pointing that out Mm -hmm. and uh, i guess because yeah we're gonna get called old head and whatever but it's just a fact that because back then you just couldn't do that Mm-hmm. like that was known as like you're jocking someone's style right. you couldn't do that again i'll blame kanye for that and i know he wasn't a rapper because he was a producer to begin with uh-huh. right but once he started rapping like in the beginning everybody used to think he and then like eventually he came out and was like oh no i have the best writers and everything to make these like number one albums he's the one that normalized that to be a thing because it didn't matter because at the end of the day numbers everyone on young money think about they always say oh but it doesn't matter because the numbers i make the numbers that's all they go off of you know well i don't know about that because like we knew about that with dr dre and you know like but it was like okay well he, he's a hell of a producer and it makes sense he can't be producing and writing his own stuff at the same time like he just doesn't have time for it for the perfection that he's trying to accomplish on the album right so it makes sense with Kanye as a producer why people need to write for him. But when it comes to Drake, not, it's just... But not if you're calling yourself the like best rapper now. I've never heard him say that. He says he likes to be like number one, the best of the stuff. I just think as like to be known as Kanye, I don't think he cares whether it's a rapper or producer. I think just as a person, he wants to be known as the best person on earth. Like... You know, when people talk about his ego, I think it's just Kanye himself, not as like a rapper or producer. It's just an artist that can produce something like uh, and he does. I mean, I'll give him that. Like, I didn't realize how good he was until like I heard. uh, What is it? Uh, Jesus walks again. Like the way it sounds and everything. I'm just like, damn, you know what I'm saying? But again, like. Right, so, okay, Drake scouting, and right, why would they go along with it? I don't know. Maybe business moves, whatever. Um, But I can see why, like, Young Money never took off. I just remember that being a a big thing, like, at the time that he was coming out with Lil Wayne. Like, you know, now that it's coming out, uh, which we should have known because it's, like, footage of it. But I never knew that apparently he did sleep with Lil Wayne's, like, chick when he was locked up at that time that to me tells you right there I've, I've never gone to his page ever until recently and what the hell is a champagne poppy <laughs> he's had that name for the longest <laughs> like like shit like that is what i'm saying to begin with like no one ever just like called that out like it's that's been corny like that for the longest and and then it's like you I'm seeing, I was like, wait, so no one ever questioned why he has Lil Wayne with Lil Wayne's daughter as his profile picture? Like, no one's just ever thought, like, why does he have that? Now, think about this. He has the tattoo 
uh someone like put it out there like the one that Kendra was talking about it's on on him the back of his arm why have we never seen it you know like it's just a random dude and then um yeah so back to what i was saying i was like right young money never took off they probably told his ass you fucked up but guess what the money's there we're not trying to mess it up so what we're gonna do is like basically put you in these deals and then you're gonna fucking work for it so um Lil Wayne was like yeah and I'm gonna get my bag off of you right Birdman like he didn't want to mess that cash money deal up with Universal and then Jay Prince he still he he went through Jay Prince first up to uh cash money mm-hmm. then they went to Universal so of course they don't want to mess that up they're like well, if this comes out right it's gonna crumble like there's gonna be all this like talk well, well the young money situation was because of like Lil Wayne and Birdman that had nothing to do with like I know that he like slept with this chick but that wasn't why that was because they remember Birdman and Lil Wayne weren't on the terms but that probably could have started it can you imagine Lil Wayne being pissed the fuck off and then Birdman be like yo, yo yo no you chill out you can't do anything about it because you're gonna mess up the bag and Lowen was like, nah, on principle though. Right? He broke that up. Like, no, like, it makes sense. It makes sense. And that's probably why they they separated. Like they they grew distant. It wasn't just like a natural thing that just happened. That that right there would explain to me, which I never knew this entire time, why suddenly they stopped fucking with each other like that. That would make sense right there. That Lil Wayne was like, yo. Berman, like the one he grew up with that he called like his dad right <laughs> think about that and his own dad not the guy that raped him and like molested him well no. you know what i'm saying like i don't <laughs> i don't know about that but anyways like <laughs> you know he probably was like yeah like the fuck what the fuck but Allegedly. then they're like you want to mess up this bag or like you want you want to like you know and that's probably like what he had to do like we're, we're gonna stamp this fool right and he's going to work for us for his entire career. He's going to make us money. Think about that. And then they let him. So there's like, then he took off. He like took off from there. Like it was around that time. So then that's when you started seeing like all the Atlanta rappers back to back have tracks with Drake. Like it just makes sense. But it was just like, it's just funny now that all these people know who all his ghostwriters are you know like whenever it was being like uh suspected no one was given names other than quentin miller but then quentin miller was the only one that officially came out on flat tv as an exclusive admitting that he writes for him and and is giving him reference tracks i i think that's just because people don't look like that's what it is at the end they don't read it's like public record they have credits on the songs like i just think it's that like and then of course obviously if you hear like someone say like out loud yes i'm a ghost writer obviously i know that's gonna cause more of a wave but like drake would always say like that was his like defense for it he was like hey they're credited on there because even cardi with partisan was the same thing she's like no i have like I'm writing and then they like the way they they always like to pitch it is like they're just pitching me stuff and making it sound good. And so then like, yeah, that's how that works. You know, it's because people don't. Well, and then think about this. The last decade or so, they haven't really been selling albums like that. And then even in the cover art, are people even really looking through that? Like no one cares. And then uh, uh, what's it called it? So that's being thrown out there. He admits it, and I feel like that's the real reason why he got beat up by Meek's camp. Like, they 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 ran into him in L.A. at a Foot Locker, I think, some shoe store, and they jumped him. Who? Meek and his crew at that time when that whole beef was going on. Jumped Drake? No, uh, Quentin Miller, oh, the writer. Oh, yeah, 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 I remember, you know? I remember. <laughs> so, but it's because I, I think... Because I know they were joking, like, how are you going to beat up the food, the writer, but not the actual person? You think, you think, like, Drake is just out here walking like that? Like, no. But then, why also? Because they know he probably has something to do with that record. That's all it is. Like, hey, you know, you probably wrote that disc. So, really, it's the one, it's you writing it. You know what I'm saying? It, it was simple. Like, well, 
he wouldn't come up with something like that if it wasn't for the writer. You know, like <laughs> it just is what it is. So now <laughs> fast forward to today, 2024, it still got the same agenda. Like Kendrick <laughs> said. <laughs> because that last track, Drake Drop, I feel honestly, that was him. Finally. Oh, for sure. <laughs> him and himself. And you finally start to realize not only who he is and how he writes. <laughs> Because he sounds just like when he came out. If you if you listen to all the first stuff, that's how he's like, how he sounded. Mm-hmm. That's how he sounded. Like, kind of, what is it? When you say when you're like, it's not admitting your love to a woman through a song. What is it? Serenading or like, mm-hmm. you're kind of like. No, yeah, serenading is the right word. Right? Mm-hmm. He's, in this sense, like, trying to defend himself is all he's doing. It's a defensive track. It's not a diss track, like the comments were saying. Like, <laughs> you know, and although supposedly he fed the information, uh, he 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 still called himself a clown. Like, the fact that, you know, that that's where the editor would have came in. Like, yo, Dre, you don't want to, yeah, you, you don't want to put that out. It's not saying what you think it's saying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, this time he didn't have an editor mm-hmm. is what it sounds like. No, he was like, they finally let me in the booth and he did it and like released it without anyone like proofreading it. The energy, like it just, it was all not there. Like when, when I was hearing it and I didn't I call it, I said, well, for sure one thing he's going to stick to the whole Whitney part, you know, and then he's going to double down on like the friend and then um, pretty much like just say, hey, well, you know, if so and so was true, then like why is it not being like denied? And the but the part I didn't know that that was what was gonna come about was him saying like about how he's too famous pretty much and therefore he would already been arrested and in trouble is what majority of the response was about. Because then when he goes into like the Whitney and is it day free? Like why why say like a bar like why isn't she denying the allegations almost like saying like because i am here like standing for myself denying my own (laughs) allegations and sometimes maybe they don't need to not to say that they aren't entirely true but also like because at this point well the beef has nothing to do with her she doesn't need to respond like any response good or bad like whether it's in like denying it or not like if she denies it they're gonna be like why is she denying it which is why what they're what he did to himself, right? Like they're they're gonna be like, why even make a comment on it? Don't comment on it if it's not true. If it's not bothering you, you don't need to make a comment. He brought them in. Like if anything, the same could be said. Like okay, so how come his ba- Drake's baby mama ain't saying shit? How come she's not defending, setting the story straight? Like that that's that's stupid. Like yes they're taking shots at each other but i don't think anyone else other needs to respond other than the ones that are in the beef like yeah whitney doesn't need to respond the other whoever the guy is that supposedly is like the dad of one of the kids doesn't need to like if he did what a clown you know what i mean um Dr- uh, honestly the energy i could tell he was just like if he really released all that information like he said I feel like he would have had better comebacks on the last diss track, right? Like to have like for and to have put it out sooner. Oh right, like immediately, uh, especially he's to like, be he like more. Knows, right? Like he tried to have a ha ha moment and he he didn't really execute no. it. Like because you would expect it if that was entirely true that he would just post it and be like, "Damn, Kendra, I got your ass. You stupid." Right. Come with that energy. Right. Receipts, like, damn, you, you know. fell for it. Right. You know? Because he was, like, denying, 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 and being like, wow, we fed you all these things. But the funny thing is that the internet being the internet went and found receipts of op- the opposite. Yeah. Like, you know, the girl, like, just, like, they went back, like, 11 years, literally, to where he was, like, he talked about having a daughter on an interview. The tweets that he sent out, like the girl's page going private all of it like you know like the you know and even if you using her 
that's fucked up. It's yeah, a child. Like, like it's not any better. Yeah, it's not any. Better. You threw her in the in the yeah. fire. She, like nobody, and there right. you go. Like, no, yeah, like it's throwing up. people under the bus. Like you threw J Cole under the bus with your own <laughs> disc. The seven. What? What is it? Oh, not seven man. That's J Cole's. Uh. The I one, whatever song it is, you know what I'm saying? Where he has the the van and he crushes it. I, I, cause, I mean, I I am biased, but then again, I'm just like glad because it's like, right? Finally, this is all we've been saying is that why does he not leave it alone? Cause like, he he's just messy. He likes to always go after people's family, kids, and like say like, oh, let me throw a shot at like. Your, your girl or something like that tell her I said what's up type of deal like so it's only right for them to respond right in the same fashion like he's the one that really takes it there <laughs> like nobody like and again it's because it's annoying people I think really at this point the reason they're all turning on him or at least just leaving it alone is just like yo we ain't coming to help you out on this one anymore like we've been helping you out mm-hmm. this entire time and now you you're like who who wrote that line for you or is it you saying shit like i ain't even from down there and y'all let it y'all letting me let uh run it down there or some shit like that i forget like charlamagne's like reference it and i was like oh really he's just you know getting cocky Mm -hmm. like why would you say shit like that because his numbers i told you and then now he's like i want to say i'm not even i'm not even gonna say piss he's probably just jealous that like now he's not winning but but you've already won and he should have like just rolled out his victory yeah, but smoothly re- since 2016 yeah but don't forget that like um who was it i don't remember who the i think it was an actress if i can't remember right now but she was like she said she's like um everyone in the business is a little bit of a narcissist because the way that the industry is built up, they do it like at the end of the day, it's for attention at the end of the day. Like whether it's like um, they're wanting like the acknowledgement, like like all that stuff comes down to wanting attention, you know? So like um, there is that, like the whole industry keeps feeding that and like um, making that like of importance. So of course, like, for us it's like oh like you've already no it's not enough for them like they're always gonna have that mindset because that mindset's what got them there so it's like they don't know how to turn it off once it's there and like you hear millionaires say it all the time like once you've made your first million it's just like you're trying to figure out ways to like do it to get more like yeah that's like a it's like an endless pit you know so like yeah well and i would go as far as to say that like that's why that one album, which I don't think it was called the For All the Dogs, it was like the one before that, where like there was no real uh, response oh, yeah. to yeah, it. Yeah, because that that year was the year that Bad Bunny went like, because like he was like now the international star. Whereas, not to say Drake wasn't ever, but not like Bad Bunny really went went there, you know. And um, that was the year that Kanye was talking about it because he was like, "Oh no, I'm trying to like," and they're like, "Oh, Do who stadiums. Drake?" Oh, right, right, right. No, remember, because he's on uh, Drink Champs, and then the Nori guy's like, oh, who, like, Drake? And Kanye's like, no, like, Drake hasn't since, like, I don't know how, like, I guess at that point it's been maybe two years, right? And they're, like, they're all scratching their head, like, dumbasses, like, who, who? And then he's, like, Kanye's, like, getting annoyed. He's like, uh, hello, the biggest artist right now is Bad Bunny. Like, you know, and then they're like, what? And it's like. How are y'all idiots not know? Like, I get that it's, like, hip-hop, but, like, that's not the, like, that's not what makes the world go round, you know? Like, and not even pop anymore, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. and and so Drake thought by writing that wave at first that it would, like, be, like, right, I'm still gonna end. That's not at all what happened, and, you know? Right, and so I, I, I believe that's where it might have started because what if, the switch up was like yeah i don't need you guys anymore you know and then when no one went for it he was like oh it's because people just don't know where i'm taking this direction with with music that everyone's like slow and i'm ahead like 
So that's going to rub people the wrong way. Like, what, what do you mean? Right. You know what I'm saying? We helped you. We made you. And now you're, like, trying to shit on us by making some silly ass excuse as to why your that album didn't work so what do you do you go right back to it right you try to go right back to it but this time you didn't have the same people mm. right so you had to go out and what get another new artist mm. sexy red you know then you had to call your your boy from back then all of a sudden j cole like to jump on the track like you see now now it's not the typical ones that he had right no same uh producers i feel like and so I think this time he was just like really meaning by the title who's out there that's just like me moving how I move a fucking dog. Mm-hmm. Like, right. you know what I'm saying? Like, what is it? He's only loyal to the ones that feed him mm-hmm. just like a dog. Right. You know? So I, I think he just got too far in his head. Like he was too far gone. Was his album gone? <laughs> or so far gone? <laughs> So far gone in his head, he thought he was like keen and untouchable, you know, and people got probably annoyed with that shit and was like, yo, hold up. This fool's like, he piggybacked on all of us and now he's shitting on us and now he's acting like he don't need us. Like he's just keen around here. Like, and that's that's most likely i I say what happened i don't like him but in his defense they bow down to him they let him run that way all these artists all of them yeah they did you know because they were like oh i'm gonna get drake on here that was them yep you know yep that's nobody else's fault but their own it's just like i think now they're just like tired of it because they're like oh he's getting like out of control and and for like the culture you know what i mean because i feel like kendrick when he first did that verse he just thought like oh it's gonna be like a back and forth thing and we're gonna stick to like the music and like it's time like that we do this especially out of them three you know what i mean like yeah that's the rivalry right there whether or not like they always wanted to paint it to be like because cole's always going on about about specifically them three right saying like oh how can we all can't have like our own space because that's not how the industry works that's not that's not the that's not how it was built up. Someone always has to be on top and it's not always going to be the same one because Cole constantly is saying like, oh, there, there's just enough room and it's like, that's just not how society even wants to see it. True, you know, yeah. so like going against the grain, like this was eventually going to happen and I think like, I think even as an artist, I'm sure they must be getting tired of always being compared to like their other colleagues, whether they're cool or not. You know, it's like because all of them come with three like with a different thing. I never honestly put Drake, even though I know they're like the big three out of them two, Drake was never like one or two. He was like three because I'm like the stuff that makes you you. That's not you. That That's not organic how it is with Kendrick and and J. Cole. You know, like the writers, all all this stuff, like the whole persona, that's not Yeah. That's not, you know, something he Well He was an actor. Yeah. You know? Like it's something that he was like, this is what's gonna like, you know because anytime the real him comes out when they call him corny. You know what I mean? So like oh what No uh, that that's all I was gonna and I'll go as far as to say, and I don't really care what anyone thinks about what I'm about to say. <laughs> he's not rapping. He's not. Like, he's singing the whole time. Well, he's like The weekend, And The weekend when they put him, like, when you see what category, he's under R&B. Yeah, so my, I, I think our argument, like, with people that I feel like has felt like I do the entire time is that we would like to hear rap. And that hasn't been the thing for a while. But we don't want to come off like hating on the artist because it's like, hey, you know, it is what it is. Everyone's on autotune and, you know, harmonizing. It's just we would like to hear some rap. And that to us isn't rap. Like, you know, we would like to hear because when you show me J. Cole, I didn't realize that that's what he did. So, like, when, when I was hearing him, I was like, oh, you're right. I just... It's just because everything that was being put out as a single, like, you know, it was like when he's like singing. And then I was like, but then like 
then I was hearing like the songs that where he's rapping, and I'm like, oh, okay. Well, remember what I told you? I was like, me personally, I don't like rappers. Like people that rap to me, like yeah. Snow the product comes to mind. Right. She's rapping, right? right. Like maybe Eminem, you know, like some of his other stuff, like maybe yeah. not the mainstream stuff or like Pusha T, right? Like certain, I was like, I don't like that. I'm, I, 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 to no, me, to that me, makes it, sense. Like, like that, those are rappers, right? right? So like, the, and it's not in anymore. Like it's just really a melody. Right. right. So what I say is like, that's rap because you know how like there's that show, like what is it? Like Rap City or there was like a show where they just... It would come on like I B T or M T so one of those, right? And I was like, Oh, I don't like that. So I wouldn't even watch that. Like B T would be like other stuff, right? Yeah. What I consider these like J. Cole is he's a hip hop artist because it's a mixture, like you hear the pop in it, the hip part being I guess like, you know, it's just like a mixture of things and that's the, I feel like to me that's the difference between a lot of the artists now like some artists are rappers and those are and then some they're hip hop artists because they do more than just the rapping part they like they really care about like the instrument all that other stuff like it's art you know not to say that rappers aren't but it's just like two different sounds you know so yeah. like now with Drake just how like the week because for the longest I thought oh the weekend falls the weekend doesn't fall under those kind of he's he's R&B yeah you know and I, I thought oh Drake and him sound more similar because when the weekend came out I was like oh and that they're both from Canada you know I was like, mm -hmm. okay that's kind of their thing and then you know like yeah so I, I, I'll just say that you know like uh yeah and I, I believe that's just been the frustration the whole time that that's why we would always call it out like yo it like when i guess we hear people going like oh he's so hard like he's the best we're like we know where we can agree upon but when you guys say like rapper that's where like it pisses us off because mm -hmm. it's like no and even when he has tracks just like back to back which they need to take that title back away from him like they took away the heisman from uh reggie bush <laughs> 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 knowing that he didn't write that shit it's how we feel, cause it's like, yeah, but like, don't don't make us believe that he's writing right those type of raps, right? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I I think it's just that mm -hmm. to where we we want to be like, you know, just just stick with the pop stuff, and that's fine, cause you can you do good records mm -hmm. doing that. Like, ain't nobody really calling out those records. It's like whenever it's he's you know like hardcore on the mic, and it's just like like and and we're just supposed to like accept that he wrote that you know and because that's always been a thing like uh and i know many people don't care nowadays like or i would just say the new generation which makes sense because you guys didn't grow up in it right. like we know from like then like we understood like when that genre came about they would call each other out and if and if you were found that you didn't write it like your career was over like, cause that was the whole thing. Like, oh, you gotta come with it. You gotta right. come with that pen. Like, you know, it's from you right. that makes you you. Right. From your own pen, penmanship. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, and that was just all it was. You know, it's like if we found out Jay Z was like not, you know, and Jay Z doesn't even write. He just he just memorizes it. That's what also is making him special that he doesn't write down his raps he just writes it in his mind and then he goes in the booth and says it like when i found that out that was incredible like oh shit he doesn't even write shit down you know like um and i didn't know this but apparently i guess biggie did the same thing so then when you hear that it's like okay you can respect that like because even if you like tupac you can still say oh damn but when you hear those tracks like really he didn't Probably write majority crap, of that right? yeah you're like oh damn so you like start kind of respecting the the craftsmanship that they're bringing like you and know and that's what drake doesn't have right and that's all we've been saying right. that's all we've been saying like hey don't don't say rapper right do not say rapper he could be a singer or like a pop artist that that's it mm -hmm. you know like y'all going in too hard on on this part of the rapping because what because he's on songs with future like you know like <laughs> Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that that's all we've been saying. And 
there you have it. Like when when push came to shove and he's you know was really going up against a rapper, like there you go. You know what I'm saying? And Make me I don't know, that's a whole different story. So <laughs> he that that one doesn't count. So like, yeah, like I'm just saying that that one doesn't count. I don't know where the hell he was in that stage. Yeah, someone he should have had a right show. I don't know. I I don't know. That was whack because and then he was from Philly where it's known where battle rappers come from. That's what I was gonna say. Like there was supposedly like footage of him mm-hmm. when he was younger battle rapping. So that was a huge letdown. Mm-hmm. Like it was just like, yo. And then the fact that like I can only imagine when they were writing back to back when they were like, yo, and then we're gonna kill him with that. Mm-hmm. You're you're getting bodied by a singing person, you mm-hmm. know, like that was like mm-hmm. the damn uh sword to the heart you know like Mm -hmm. (laughs) like yo you are you know like what the hell like what was the bars at and again because it's hip-hop like you know what i'm saying like that's always been a thing like eminem you know like when it comes to the rapping part of it it's just like you know who to call you know and i'm sorry but drake's name is just not there like well for like hip-hop enthusiasts you know like that's just what it is. <laughs> okay. That's just what it is. Like, I don't think drinks in people's top five. <laughs> no, no, not at all. Not at and all. I think that's what he's salty about too. You know. Yeah, and like, you know, he he did okay when I feel like he came out with Lil Wayne. Like, but again, it's just like he it's just he got over his head. Like, is that how you say it? You know what I'm saying? Like, he he really thought he could do that. You know what I'm saying? Like, he didn't need to be battling people like well it's funny because there's uh i think an interview i don't know if it was a phone call or what but um wayne talks about that and says like hey that he's like when he signed him like over to like young money and he was like hey just be you you don't need to be anybody else you don't need to change up your sound now that you're with young money you don't need to like rap about the things i rap about you do like your lover boy shit and that's fine because that's what sells like stick to what you know as far as like formula goes because it's you know it's working you know and like he had the conversation with him and you know yeah i mean his his dream first was probably to be a rapper but didn't realize that he'd probably be better just singing you know but it's like he it's like you said he he couldn't let that go like maybe it was his first that and I think like as approach I know he it's like a sensitive subject for him but I do think his like racial um identity has a lot to do with it um everybody always talks about like the difference between being raised by a black mother and a white mother like obviously he had a little white mom so his experience is going to be different him growing up in Canada as opposed to in the United States like you know his dad not really being in his life too much from what I know um so it just you know he's just like I feel like biracial kids always have that thing where they're trying to fit in and he's like still struggling with that and he can't just admit it and so like anytime someone calls him out he gets very defensive about it instead of just being like yeah maybe that's what it is and i'm like sorry because like other people like other biracial kids like and it rubs the black community off in the worst way it really does um because i think they're like you guys are being tone deaf like because at the end of the day y'all still have some sort of privilege over them you know and like i think it shows up a lot with drake you know like how much the privilege benefits him you know and like Kendrick really went for some of those like (laughs) you know and like really like broke it down to where it's like oh you know like I think because he's trying to play this caricature of what he thinks like um, an American rapper what he thinks is like you know as opposed to just being himself like The Weeknd doesn't have these problems you know yeah and and I I, I understand that The Weeknd's like pretty sure he's all the way black right but i don't know I, 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 don't quote me on that right um but even more in his defense let's say he was biracial right he does not have those problems because he's not trying to pretend to be something that he's not you yeah. know what i mean yeah, I like, feel you. I feel you. so regardless if he does or he, if he doesn't like let's say he did 
even still he does not have those problems because he's just like right i i sing this is what i do and i get bitches you know like yeah and no one's ever like and the weekend says some misogynistic shit in his songs and girls are still like ah it's the weekend you know what i mean like they don't care so like Drake's just going about this like, in the worst way possible, you know? And yeah. and a lot of it has to do with, yes, the white in him. Like, they're always problematic. At yeah, the and that's why he, like, made fun of certain things that you just don't make fun of. Like, I don't Tone even deaf. think. Right. <laughs> like, like well, this is not helping your case at all. You at know? all. <laughs> at all. And, he, and, <laughs> like, and just even on the general uh aspect of the battle itself like (laughs) bar for bar like kendra just got you on that like you doubled down on it and then you yourself just he didn't even like have to do this for you but like he kind of just trapped you in in the chess game for you to just like you know reveal yourself and 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 you know look stupid you know, and and make fun of like, you know, well the child molestation part. Like, I was like, yeah, I know. What are you doing? That one for sure. I <laughs> I know that one came up a lot. They were just like, you know, this is not helping your case at all because as someone like you, that's not something you you joke around about, right? Regardless if it's a girl man or not. Like if it's like a man, one or two bars. I could like some like one or two bars. Not not to make fun of it, but just be like. Oh, I see why you're trying to like do that because you went through that and that's it. No, there's no justification for using that at all because it does not help your case in any way. Like if anything, it's like, oh, only someone who's a predator would find that as like, you know, an ex- like to use that against you. Only predators think that way you know you're right to you're bring right. that up i'm just saying like you in know? a sense that like how far i mean he, he like majority of the song is just him defending himself on that part but i'm thinking like I just think even the, to try i think to the be r like kelly to the, line was better there you go never mind the okay, r kelly that line part. was there's better because of the fact and i there's will and i will like, say how that, are you gonna say that when you're over there like right that's all you had to say that's all that that's right, should that's that right. should have been like okay i forgot good. about that part there that, that would that was a good in defense of like oh so you're just gonna pick and choose who gets to be like you know gets to i guess gets to get away with it you know yeah true 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 so that that was a better line the other stuff like no there's no way like yeah. that's very much a predator mindset to like you right. try to use that against it right. you know see like there you go see i, I was draking right there like, I, <laughs> you had don't to drink stop and drake. <laughs> yeah don't drink and drake you know <laughs> just to try to like think like what were you thinking like if anything, like I like, it just wasn't a way to like right. come back at the bars, and, right. and yeah, you just can't do it on right. that part. Other than the R. Kelly one, that, that was like the one. only line that that was, that was like a good bar, Me, and that the yeah. rest you should have just left yeah, out. Like, for sure. <laughs> like that, that was yeah. yeah. But at that point, I feel like you got in over your head again. He's like, oh, this is good. This is good. Yeah. <laughs> or, or no, no more like more like the the writers were probably like, yeah, we don't. But I think you like no, I got this one, mm-hmm. you know, like <laughs> <laughs> shot himself in the foot, <laughs> right? And because it, it just sounds like you and whoever, maybe forty, was the only two in there, <laughs> and was like, yes, man. That's what happens when you have yes men around. Yep. <laughs> like, wow, yeah. But very interesting because, like, who knows now. Is he, is it just going to again, you know? Oh, well, we'll just leave off with UMG saying, like, the word on the street is that they're trying to get Kendrick to, oh, like, right, right, right. withdraw the whole, like, pedo thing. Um, because Drake's losing out on money's, like, deals and stuff because of the allegations. Um, I hope Kendrick doesn't. I hope he, I beat in in his favor because he does own his music because i did see where they i remember i sent you the video about he uh took the copyright off all the songs that he wrote so Mm -hmm. that all the people that are creating content around it can also get paid so he's like looking out for like 
us, you know, right? Yeah. Um, whereas Drake can't do that because he's part of the UMG like catalog. So whenever they took it off TikTok, his stuff came off too. So he they're not making money, even though now UMG finally settled with TikTok. They've come to an agreement. Um, but they are losing money because like how you said earlier, he does not own his like who Drake is, everything that makes Drake. They have a lot invested in him and so they need a return on that. And with everything that Kendrick has been doing, it's hurting their like investment. So that's where we're leaving off right now because that's there hasn't been as of what a few hours ago um, any updates on or we haven't looked up on that. So yeah. that's where we'll leave off. Is that's true. That. That's true. But again, well, I mean, because what I was going to get with that was just like how he's just been getting away with stuff this whole entire time. I just, I don't know about this one. I wouldn't be surprised, but then I would be surprised, really. Like, cause I don't, I don't think so. There's too many things coming out. Like, maybe right now he's not gonna. I think eventually they're gonna do what they did with R. Kelly, and there's gonna be like, sh- you know, c- charges. Which is why I think UMG wants like him to like retract that. But like my whole my whole thing with that is on like, right because there must be something to it because if it keeps going, they're gonna look into it. Like true. You know, like You're if right. enough moment, like people say, now they want him to be like, oh, now nah, I was just lying too. Right. Uh-uh. How Kendrick <laughs> stands on business. He told you. <laughs> he, he did. He's, he's like, he set it all up, like from the big, from that first song where he's like, you know, where he starts off kind of like, he's like, don't, monotone. he's like, don't say any lies about me and I won't say any truths about, about you. you. Yeah. Dead. There you go. And with that, checkmate. <laughs> <laughs> We out. We out. <laughs> it's bed talk. If I can stop this. <laughs> <laughs>